Hi, my name is Brennan Caverhill. I'm a grade 8 elementary school teacher in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. In July 2018, I traveled to Wyoming along with 50 teachers from throughout North America for National Geographic's Geo Inquiry training. We were based at the Teton Science School, surrounded by the Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks, where we learned about the Ask, Collect, Visualize, Create, and Act phases of the geo-inquiry process. I took what I learned back to St. Cecilia Elementary School, where my students and I have been implementing the geo-inquiry process. In one project we conducted in the fall, we mapped and managed the litter on the school playgrounds. The students first asked questions about the trash on their playground, like, how much litter is out there? What is the most common litter item? What materials will the litter be made of? Is there anything dangerous? Following our question asking exercises, we started the collect phase. Students formed teams of three, printed maps of the grounds, grabbed clipboards and pencils, and explored the school's yard to identify, count, and map all the litter they could find. To visualize the information, teams first produced analog maps on paper while collecting the data. They improved their maps, then created digital copies using Google Maps and Google Drawings. In the Create phase, students generated graphs of the results in Google Sheets. Overwhelmingly, plastic and packaging was the most common litter item found on the grounds. To act on what we had learned together, students reported the results to the school community, including their peers, the eco-team, and administration. Volunteers stepped up to monitor and clean the litter on the grounds on a weekly basis, and an annual neighborhood litter cleanup was put in place to expand our stewardship throughout the community surrounding the school. This lesson connected to the National Geographic Learning Framework by helping students develop attitudes of responsibility and empowerment, the skills of observation, communication, collaboration, and problem solving, and the knowledge of our human story. Students had the opportunity to be observant, empowered stewards of their landscape, a skill set they will hopefully carry throughout their lives. The project was carried out over a few days at the local scale, but similar litter cleanups could be enacted at the regional or even global scales for indeterminate periods of time. The perspective we focused on was spatial, but we discussed in depth how waste has cultural, political, economic, historical, and ecological impacts as well. I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to learn with amazing teachers from across the continent, led by the hardworking team at National Geographic Education, who are helping educators teach kids about the world and how it works, empowering them to succeed and make it a better place. Thanks.